Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm back in the beautiful Lake District National Park this morning. And as you'll have read from the title, I'm in one of my favorite places in the lakes, the Langdale Valley. I've just parked the car down at Dungeon Gill. For those of you who've been following the channel for a little while, you might remember the last time I was here in the winter, I went up to Pike of Blisco and Crinkle Crags. Well, today we are on the other side of the Langdale Valley and we're gonna be ticking off some more of the Langdale Pikes. I've done this route a couple of times. It's one of my favorites. You can do loads of different lengths and there's lots of Wainwrights on this side as well. Today, we're doing a little bit of a shorter route. We're going for something that's around five to six miles. We are forecasted some pretty mega snow in the Lake District this afternoon, starting at about one, two o'clock. So I wanted to do a little bit of a longer route, but with the weather forecast and everything, um, we're just gonna do this shorter route. I think there are four Wainwrights on this route, so even though it's just a short one, there's lots of Wainwrights to tick off in this area. We're heading up to Pike of Stickle first, which is where you probably get the best view of the day, looking all the way down the Landale Valley. You can see all the way over to Bowfell, Crinkle Crags. And on a clear day, I'm pretty sure you can see all the way over to Scarfell. It's stunning up there. And then from there, we're gonna head over to Harrison Stickle, then Thunacar Knots, and lastly, Pavey Arc, and then we'll drop down to Stickle Tarn. I absolutely love the Landale Valley. One of my favorite places but yeah i'm gonna crack on and um, i'll show you all the beautiful views as usual and i also need to get a move on because i'm meeting hev at the pub because i've just dropped her off at grass and she's running all the way over to the landale valley from there So I'm just at the base now of Pike of Stickle and I forgot how brutal that climb is out of the valley. It's just never ending. I think we've done, see what the watch says. Yeah, so we did nearly 2000 feet of elevation there in just under an hour. So it's a pretty brutal climb out of the valley. Very short and steep, which sometimes is nice because now that we're up here, we've done the majority of the climbing, I think. We've got to go up to Piker Stickle, which is literally right next to me here. And then that's Harrison Stickle there. You can probably also see there's a very light dusting of snow, which was kind of expected after looking at the forecast last night and everything's frozen up here as well. So I think it's probably in minus temperatures now. Fortunately, though, we've got really clear summits. There isn't any low hanging cloud. I have just uh, checked the weather again. 
on the mountain forecast and it's forecasted a bit of a dump in this afternoon so we really do need to get a bit of a move on you might be able to hear because it might be interfering with the microphone a bit but it is also very windy up here I think it has forecasted sort of 50 mile an hour gusts and it's only going to get worse as the day goes on so it's another reason to get off relatively early today I'm hoping I'm going to bump into Hev though because she should be coming from High Rays which is in that direction it'd be nice to uh, see her because her route sort of comes past Pikey Stickle you might get some action shots of a very good mountain runner running by <sighs> had to pull the gloves on it is absolutely Baltic up here <laughs> The wind has really picked up on this sort of plateau bit. We can now see Pike of Stickle though. It's a little bit of a scramble to get up there. And um, we'll assess it just because it is quite icy and slippy. And the route up as well, I should say, from Dungeon Gill up the route to Pike of Stickle. There's a few little um, rocky scrambly sections as you'll probably have seen. Nothing too crazy, but just bear that in mind if you're coming up here it is cold but it is so beautiful up here in the distance if you watched the last video that's Glaramara over there and Rosthwaite fell and it looks like there's even more snow over there that was an awesome walk if you haven't checked out that video highly recommend it just because we had some awesome conditions up there that day but yeah I'm going to put the camera down now and make my way up there I want to have both hands free. It's not actually as windy as I thought it'd be up here. The climb up was a little bit sketchy though with the ice. But look at this view absolutely insane let's see what my geography is like at the moment I think in front of us here is Park of Blisco then behind there that sort of snow range I think that's the Coniston Fells over there you've got just in front of us here the band that goes all the way up to Bowfell here that's Crinkle Crags there. We did a really nice route there last winter up to Pike of Bliskin and then Crinkle Crags. Actually, and I think today we can just see Scarfell over there. I think I can see the sort of circular pill, pill at the top. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Don't know if we'll be able to pick it out on the camera. Well, that's Scarfell Park there, the highest peak in the Lake District. And as we come around here, that's Great End there. Really nice fell that. You get some beautiful views uh, from over there. That lump in the distance over there is Great Gable, which is easily in my sort of top five mountains in the Lake District. Did a video there last year where we had insane conditions and yeah, it's just amazing. These fells in front of us here, that's Glaramara. You've got Rostowate fell down here. The northern fells are all over there and you've got the western fells in the distance. Here you've got High Rays and then we've got Harrison Stickle in front of us here. And then you've got Windermere down here and the Eastern Fells are all over there. You just get an awesome view from up here. It is very icy underfoot at the moment. Um, I do have my micro spikes in my bag, however, the snow and the ice pack just isn't really thick enough for them. So I just took extra caution, put the GoPro in my pocket and used all fours to get myself up here. Definitely worth it for the view. Just had comms from Hev. We're going to try and intercept her run and see if we can spot her and then we'll head over to Harrison Stickle. In fact, just as I put the camera down, I can actually see her way in the distance over there. You might have already uh, heard me talk about Hev being an amazing runner, but she ran the West Island Way last year. I crewed her, it was an amazing week, but she is absolutely rapid, so I'm going to have to get a bit of a leg on. There she goes, sports fans. We managed to just intercept her. The mountain goat. She's running all the way over here. And then down the Cumbria way. <laughs> That's Thunder Car Knots right beside me there. So we're gonna do House of Stickle, head over to Paviark, then down to Stickle Tarn. And I'll probably catch up with you down at the Tarn now. And I'll show you the remaining views on this stunning walk. <laughs>
So I've just made it down from Paviark. You get an awesome view from it down here now. It's a really cool summit, a big slab of crag. And although this is one of my favorite places in the Lake District, that descent off Paviark is one of my least favorite descents in the whole of the Lake District. It is very steep, very rocky, and has probably ruined a few people's knees over the years. Landale Valley is such a steep sided valley. No matter which way you go up, you know there's gonna be a horrible descent on the way back down. But it is absolutely worth it for the views that you get up there. And it is just, I don't know if you can see, started snowing a tiny bit. So we've timed that very well. Started a little bit early, to be honest. But I keep on checking the weather and it's getting worse and worse. So I think we're going to be waking up to some very snowy mountains tomorrow. It was pretty icy and slippy up on the tops. I spoke to a couple of people up there and they were all saying how they, like myself, set off nice and early in the morning because they knew the snow was coming. And that's why you should always check the mountain forecast because this snow has kind of come from nowhere. So I've been looking at the weather all week and it hadn't really forecasted it at all. Um, but this big band of rain and snow is traveling up the country as we speak so just coming up to eight kilometers now so around five-ish miles like i said this isn't the longest route but there's a lot of ascent in it so still a pretty big day out to be honest we've done nearly three thousand feet of elevation which is a lot really but that's quite a nice thing about these rain rides you can get some amazing views relatively quickly and you obviously don't have to go all the way up to the tops of them a lot of people park down in Dungeon Gill and they'll just walk up to Stickle Tarn here and just take in Paviark in the summer. It's an awesome place to go for a swim. I did a 30 kilometer run last summer around here. Um, and I did actually film that. I never made it to YouTube though because I had the wrong setting on my camera. But at the end of that, I practically collapsed into Stickle Tarn because it was so hot it must have been about 25 degrees that day and i was baking i ran out of water up on pavey arc it was i had a shock of a day with my water and their uh, food but i jumped in here and it was like heaven so in the summer this is an awesome place to come for a little uh, wild dip also really nice spot for some wild camping i'm definitely gonna head back here to do some wild camps this summer because yeah the views up here are awesome if you get a good spot up here you'll be able to catch sunset when you get up there and you'll be able to catch an amazing sunrise in the morning as well so a wild camp here is definitely on the cards so yeah i am going to enjoy this final view of pavey arc and harrison stickle and then i'm going to head down another not so nice descent back down to dungeon gill So I'm back in the Peak District, got to the end of the route that day. As you'll have seen, we made it into the pub and we were in there for ages warming up next to the fire and I completely forgot to film an outro. So I've just got back home to a very grey and damp Peak District. I thought I'd quickly just film a little outro for you. Had an awesome morning out in the Landales that day. The forecast was not wrong at all. Once I got back down, it was absolutely horrible down at lower levels and on the mountains, we got an absolute dumping of snow in the Lake District. We woke up in the morning to a complete whiteout. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go out and get high up into the snow the following day, but it did look absolutely mega. So we did the right thing, doing a bit of a shorter route. 
stayed nice and safe and we had a nice pint next to the fire in the pub. Highly recommend doing the route. If you're after a route that has a decent amount of ascent, some Wainwrights to bag, but is a little bit shorter, it's the perfect route. You get some stunning views and it's just, yeah, it's one of my favorite places in the Lake District. I absolutely love it and so many other people do as well. Uh, it's just a really popular spot. And if you did want to do this route, I've now managed to attach a GPX file in the description so you guys can download it onto your S Maps app. So I thought that would help you guys out if you're ever wanting to do the routes that I show on my YouTube channel. And just a little reminder for this in particular route. It is a relatively technical route in places, especially going up to Pike of Stickle. So just be wary of those sections. But yeah, take a look at the route. I'm really happy I've managed to get this sorted because get quite a lot of requests asking for the routes fingers crossed it all works let me know in the comments if it doesn't work i'll try and make it work but yeah i'm gonna end the video here keep it short and sweet thank you so so much for watching thanks for all the love all the likes all the comments all the new subscribers and i'll see you in the next one cheers